How are we? This next song is called Nine Miles from Gundagai. Now, Gundagai is a town south of Sydney. Uh, it's in New South Wales, and it was a transit point for the bullock teams and all the carriages with their horses and carriages 100 years ago, 150 years ago, when um, there were no motor cars. Gundagai was a place that you could stop and have something to eat. You could have a cup of tea, you could have a sleep. It was a major town in the bush. The song Nine Miles from Gundagai talks about a bullocky. Now, a bullocky was a fellow who had a big dray. A dray was like a big stagecoach without a roof, but huge big wheels. It's like a semi-trailer truck of today. But a bullock, and a, a bull, a bullock is like a big bull who's been castrated, and we'll talk about castration later on, but he is a male bull cow who is massive, he's bigger than the piano, he's probably as big as this screen, he's monstrous, as big as a small car. And there were six or eight of them joined together and they would pull these bullock drays. The drays would carry wheat or wool or sugar or big logs to the markets or from one town to another, from Sydney to Melbourne or from Adelaide to Melbourne or to the shipping yards from the farms. Many of them travelled for days and days and days through the country, so they had a box of food. They would also have a dog, and the dog would chase the snakes away, or if, the, if they had cattle, they would keep the cattle moving along as the dray moved along. This one fella, and I don't know his name, but he was punching his bullock, which means he was moving his bullock team through the bush as a bullock driver. And the dog was sitting on his tucker box, his food box. His, it wasn't a fridge because there wasn't, it wasn't cold. It was just a box that he kept his sugar and his tea and his damper and his honey in. A damper is like a bread. And the dog wouldn't get off. The bullocky, every time he put his hand towards the, the tucker box, the dog would growl. Now, I don't know why, but he would. Anyway, eventually, the bullocky, he got so depressed, he got really hungry, and he started to write this song. Now, I'm not going to play my guitar to this song. I'm just going to read it. The master or the bullocky or the driver of the bullock team never returns but the dog continues to guard the tucker box until his death. And the dog did die. And, funnily enough, the bullocky buried the dog in the tucker box. Tucker is an Australian word for food. So the food box the dog was guarding symbolises the substance or what needed protecting in the region's pioneer, which happened to be their food, or maybe they put their money in there. So this is the song, Nine Miles from Gundagai. I'm used to punching bullock teams across the hills and plains. I've teamed out back for 40 years through blazing droughts and rain. I've lived a heap of troubles down without a bloom and lie. But I can't forget what happened to me nine miles from Gundagai. Twas getting dark, the team got bogged. The axle snapped in two. I lost my matches and my pipe. Oh, what was I to do? The rain came on, twas bitter cold, and hungry too was I. And the dog sat on the tucker box, nine miles from Gundagai. Some blokes I know have stacks of luck, no matter how they fall. But there I was, Lord love -a duck no blessed luck at all. I couldn't make a pot of tea, nor get me trousers dry. And the dog sat in the tucker box, nine miles from Gundagai. I can forgive the blinkin' team, I can forgive the rain. I can forgive the dark and cold and go through it again. I can forgive my rotten luck, but hang me till I die. I can't forgive that bloomin' dog, 
nine miles from Gundagai. But that's all dead and past and gone. I've sold the team for meat. And where I got the bullocks bogged, now there's an Ashfelt street. The dog, oh well, he took a bait and reckoned he would die. I buried him in that tucker box nine miles from Gundagai. So you can see, that song, again, another Australian folk song, tells a story. What I'd like you to have a go at is, can you write a story? Can you write a poem? And then maybe make it into a song. It's not easy, but it's not hard. You just think about what's going on. All right, thanks very much, boys and girls. Talk to you again soon.